Mike Ritchie, District Administrator for the Northern Pine School District. Welcome to my monthly video cast. I am here today with four of our special uh, educators. The four individuals with me today are new teachers to the, the uh, district. They just completed or about to complete their first year uh, as teachers with Northern Pines. Uh, with me over here is Tammy Davis. Hi, Tammy, uh, fourth grade teacher. Uh, Scott Stubak is over here on my right. He is a middle school, high school business education teacher. Uh, Forrest Mann is to my left. He is a middle school, high school band teacher. And Katie Carey uh, on the, my far right is also a middle school, high school math teacher. So welcome the four of you. I hope you had a great first year. Uh, I know it was exciting and uh, I'm just gonna start off by asking each of you to respond to uh, the first question of where is your hometown and what college did you graduate from? And we're going to start over on this side now. <laughs> so, uh, Katie, you're up first. I'm from Iron Mountain, Michigan, over in the UP, and I graduated from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Okay. Scott? Uh, I'm from Elmwood Park, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, and I went to the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. And Forrest? Um, I'm from Washburn, Wisconsin, and I graduated from the UW-Stevens Point. Tammy? I'm Tammy Davis. I I guess I'm now a Uper from Wilson, Michigan, and I graduated from Michigan State University, which is why she and I are across the table <laughs> from each other. Okay. All right, well, uh, I'm going to pick on two of you right now, and I guess the first question is, you know, you made it through your first year, and how did it go? Did you, was it what you expected? Were you surprised? I can oh, start, I okay. suppose. All right. um, I had the opportunity to teach last year in Detroit, so up here was a new experience being in the Northwoods. Um, but everybody here was very supportive, and anytime I had an issue, which was a lot for the first couple of weeks, um, everybody jumped right in and helped. So overall it went okay in the fact that I had a lot of support from everybody. All right, great. My first year went very well. I really enjoyed um, working with the students, and I felt like I had a lot of support as well. Um, but I guess I was, I was very happy to have the musicians that I had in the band and to come in and do music that I had always wished to do, and I got to do that my very first year, so that was exciting for me. Great. Um, Tammy, were you prepared for your first year as an educator? Yes. And sometimes no. <laughs> for the most part, I felt very prepared. I felt like my college and my internship, I did a lot of in-class training, and I did a lot of training with students, so I felt pretty prepared, but there's always things that come up that you go, I have no idea what to do, <laughs> and luckily it goes right back to support. I mean, my mentor was incredible, and just being able to go and ask questions to anybody, and I often did, they were very supportive, and I'm much more prepared now for next year, <laughs> but honestly, it's been it's been a really great year, so yeah, I'm, I feel pretty good. Great, and Scott, how about you? Uh, kind of the same idea. Actually, I spent a lot of time just kind of preparing over the summer. I had taught summer school. I taught a personal finance class. Kind of had a glimpse of what it was going to be um, running my own classroom and um, just preparing enough to, you know, be two weeks ahead, three weeks ahead in case things aren't going your way and be able to just kind of switch things around instead of just kind of hitting the, the panic button there. But, you know, got a lot of great advice from my, my mentor and kind of slowed things down once the school year got going. I kind of got in the flow and you know, student teaching and, you know, my education, that, that all backed me up and it, you know, made it go a lot smoother. You know, let's talk about mentors for one second because one of the things that we do in the district is uh, any new teacher to the district or especially first year teacher, we do provide them with a teacher mentor and I think it's um, a, hopefully a part of our success here in the district is, as we prepare new teachers um, and we want them to stay here for a very long time. So having that mentor, I'm assuming, uh, was a big help and I know we meet four times a year as a whole group but I know you you meet with your mentor on many occasions uh, does someone want to just make a comment about some of the things you did with your mentor or uh, why was that helpful I, I had the chance to work with my mentor every single day and it was great to have her just the sound ideas off of and then to kind of work through some things that I'd go through in the classroom you know once with somebody who knew what was going to happen and that was very reassuring for me just to share resources, that was incredible. I was lucky enough to have a fourth grade mentor teacher as well, and being in a brand new grade level with somebody who's taught the same grade level for 25 years, that was so priceless, and it was amazing that she shared all of her things with me. It was awesome. Great. 
you know, as we look around uh, the nation, uh, we hear school reform, and it's a big deal out there uh, in every state. And I guess the question I have for you is, where do you see education uh, going uh, in the very near future? And the second piece to that would be, what do we need to do as a district uh, to prepare our kids and to meet all the needs of our students? I think education in the past has been very much um, learning very disjointed topics along the way and a lot of skill and drill type ideas. And right now we're on a move, and I think we at Northland Pines are ahead of the curve, which is encouraging, in that we're moving to integrate among the different um, disciplines um, and teach the kids how to problem solve, how to connect what they've learned in different classes or even within my own math class and not focus just on, for example, right triangles because that's what we're doing this chapter, but find different entry points to a problem so that they can pull on other knowledge from my class or science class or any other class to solve a problem. I think that's where we're going to end up going as a nation. I think we're ahead of the curve right now. Great, thank you. Yep, and just kind of to piggyback off that, I think that as a district, we're really moving towards that idea of having the critical thinking and um, that collaboration in the classroom, not just among the students, but among the teachers as well. Um, really showing that up because um, having that creativity in the classroom, making kids make the connections between not just one discipline, but multiple disciplines in each class and really work together on different projects because that really exemplifies what they're gonna have to do in the workforce once they um, leave North of Pines. And you know, hopefully they'll be college and career ready um, based on um, the standards that we've set for them as far as creativity goes and really building that cohesiveness uh, among students, among teachers as well. Okay. All right. So, you know, what, what we need to do as a district, I think, is, is find ways to step back from the role of teaching and to more the role of mentoring. So they are solving the problems on their own. You know, so for instance, in my classroom, I like to ask for ideas. How do you think you should interpret this piece of music? And we try those, and then as a class, we decide what we should do to make the best decision. And I think that happens in all the classes, and we'll get closer to that in the future. Great, thank you. I guess, you know, what surprised you uh, the most or what didn't you expect to happen throughout the year or in your classroom this year? The resources. I never anticipated the resources of Northland Pines. I knew that it was a good school and it was a larger district than I had, but I, I mean, through this year, I'm able to run a one-to-one -to -one mini iPad program. I got a smart board halfway through the year. It's very exciting. <laughs> and just the r different resources. We were able to bring in the Star Lab. We were able to bring in different people from the area that were willing to help and interview or bring in their own professions to the classroom, and it was just incredible to see what North Pines had to offer the students. So fourth graders are pretty excited to use many iPads uh, in the classroom? Yeah, they're a little excited. <laughs> we had to establish some ground rules of how to treat the iPads and that have iPad etiquette. You have to put it down when I'm speaking to you, otherwise they will go like this the whole time. <laughs> it's very exciting though. Oh, it's incredible to see them. And as a school district, we're looking at a three-year uh, long-range plan to implement one-to-one -one, uh, technology with all of our students. And uh, we're going to be on track uh, this, this next year. Uh, when we come back in September, we're going to start with the high school, so all students in grades 9 through 12 using Chromebooks and that's just the beginning of a three-year process that we really want to uh, to improve with our technology and I think you mentioned it already but we are I think above the curve when it comes to technology and resources and it's just it's something that we need to do with our 21st century learning uh, going on that uh, we have to be prepared and I hopefully we're doing a good job and I know there's always room for improvement but uh, I, I agree that we have the resources we have a great staff and um, we are ready to move forward I guess the next question would be, um, what did you like most about, or what do you like most about the Northern Pine School District? Living in Detroit, I did not get the outdoors very much. So in about November, when the announcement came on the overhead and said, students, clear out the cubbies for the snowmobile helmets, I was so pleased to be back up here that it just made my entire month that month. Another thing I'd like to, to mention would be just the, the welcoming atmosphere of, you know, the students and staff. I mean, you really don't have that sense of community like you would here and just, you know, people willing to help out day one. Same thing. Um, <laughs> I felt very welcome and I know, you know, people, people tend to grow an attachment to their music teachers, but I felt like, you know, they were ready for me to come in and do my thing and that came from other teachers.
talked about resources, we talked about technology, but is there anything that we left out as far as the strengths of the district? I think just that long range planning idea of that, you know, we kind of see ahead of the curve of where things are going with technology, where they're going with education, and we're not just sitting around waiting for it, we're kind of, you know, getting after it and seeing what we can implement in classrooms now and hopefully improve it um, so that, you know, three or four years down the line we can say that we're really um, you know, trailblazing in these different areas and that um, we really have, you know, the best educational product that we can put out. You know, one of the things that really impressed me as I uh, walk through the buildings and, and the different schools, I see how the, the teachers are collaborating with each other. And I'm not just talking about all the fourth grade teachers. Uh, Tammy might be collaborating with a, a middle school teacher, or you might be collaborating with a, you might have a, uh, the band teacher, for example, might be working with another department. And I think that's just so neat to see how we all gel together and how we, we look at different opportunities. And it's just, uh, to me, that really sticks out. So I, I appreciate everyone's effort and how they, they work together, they help each other. They want to make um, everyone a better teacher, so I think that's a compliment to all of our staff and some of the good things that are happening uh, throughout our district. If you had to give any advice to a, a new teacher now, what advice would you give to, uh, to any new teacher that enters our district? I think I would tell them that you're going to be assigned a mentor and that person is going to be your sidekick, but make as many other friends as quickly as possible among the teachers because I started with one mentor and I have about three or four now so I always have someone to fall back on and I'm in both buildings so in both buildings. Okay. Any other advice? Have fun. <laughs> it's, you're gonna go in panic mode. There will be times where you again have no idea what's going on. <laughs> have fun. You're with students and you're with kids and it's just a really fun time to be a teacher. It's just fun. Good. Now, on a personal note, I guess, you know, we're getting down to the end of the school year and uh, uh, summer is, is here, I hope, with the weather warming up. Uh, what are your summer plans? Um, I'm going to be traveling around the state of Wisconsin teaching our math curriculum to other new districts that are implementing it. So between that time, I'll be relaxing, but that's going to take up about half of my summer. So you'll continue to teach? Yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm, I'm looking to, uh, I put in the paperwork, I'm starting my own uh, sole proprietorship, I'm starting a digital marketing company. Among other things, I'll maybe do some umpiring for some baseball games. Well, I'm getting married this summer, Aww. but when I'm not working on that, <laughs> um, I, I, I love to read, and I've been finishing the Wheel of Time series, so I'm excited, excited to read the last book of that that just came out this last January. And also, one of the exciting things about being a band director is you get to choose the music. So I finally get to choose all the music, so I'm looking forward to choosing music this summer. <laughs> and Tammy, how about you? They're all so ambitious. I'm traveling. I'm having a purely selfish summer. I'm traveling all of my family members, and they live all across the United States, and I'm stocking up at my local library. First trip is California, and then we'll see from there. Good for you. You all deserve to have a nice, relaxing summer. You worked hard this year. Last question I have is, uh, in one word, can you sum up your first year experience here at Northern Pine? Incredible. Crazy, in a good way. Exciting. Supported. We have many outstanding educators in our district, and they work very hard. So uh, hopefully we're, we're going to see the results, and the students will definitely benefit. Uh, it was a good year. Uh, if you have questions regarding the district, check out our website. If you can't find something, please give us a call. We will be around all summer. Uh, happy to help anyone out, and I know that uh, the teachers are excited to uh, take a little break, but also prepare for next year. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video cast, and I can't thank the four of you enough. Uh, Tammy, Forrest, Scott, Katie, uh, thank you, and I'm glad you made it through your first year, and looking forward to many more uh, positive years with you here at Northern Pines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.